Oh, well, buckle in. Get ready for fun and learning. This is a homeschool pop U.S. States video. In this video, we are learning about the state of Connecticut. That's right, the state of Connecticut. The first thing we want to figure out is where is Connecticut? Here is a United States map. Where is the state of Connecticut? Do you already know? Where is it? Yeah, the state of Connecticut is up here in the upper right hand corner of the United States in the far northeast in a region of the United States called New England. The region called New England is in the farthest northeast corner of the United States. There are six states that belong to this region called New England. The northernmost state of New England is the state of Maine. Then below Maine is New Hampshire. Then to the west of New Hampshire is the state of Vermont. Then below Vermont and New Hampshire is the state of Massachusetts. And then below Massachusetts are two states. First, the state of Rhode Island. And then the state of Connecticut. Connecticut is what this video is all about. And Connecticut is the southernmost state in the region called New England in the northeast corner of the United States. Cool. Well, now that we know where Connecticut is, we want to look at two nicknames of the state of Connecticut so we can learn more about this state. All right. So what are Connecticut's nicknames? What are some other names that the state of Connecticut goes by? The two nicknames we're going to talk about that belong to the state of Connecticut are the Constitution State and the Nutmeg State. The first nickname is the Constitution State. So why is Connecticut called the Constitution State? There are two ideas of where this nickname came from. The first explanation takes us back to when the United States Constitution was written back in 1787. The United States Constitution is the supreme law of the United States. That means there is no law higher in the United States than the Constitution. Two men, Roger Sherman and Oliver Ellsworth, were representing Connecticut when they were trying to pass the Constitution. There were disagreements, so they came up with something later called the Connecticut Compromise, which helped pass the Constitution of the United States. But the main explanation, at least according to many people in Connecticut, is that in 1639, three Connecticut towns came together to compile a list of rules called the Fundamental Orders. This is considered the very first constitution in North America, and one of the main reasons why Connecticut is called the Constitution State. All right, so why is Connecticut called the Nutmeg State? Nutmeg is a very strong spice that has a lot of flavor and smells great. In Connecticut, there were a lot of people that would sell nutmeg. Nutmeg was not cheap, and as the legend goes, some traders and sellers would actually make fake nutmeg out of wood and would sell it. They would mix it in with real nutmeg and then when the person would bring it home and would start grating it to get the spice out, they would just realize it was made out of wood and they were tricked. So Connecticut was nicknamed the Nutmeg State. 
All right, let's look at the flag. The flag of the state of Connecticut. The flag of Connecticut is a blue flag that has a white shield, and the white shield has three grapevines, each with bunches of purple grapes. Below the shield is a Latin phrase on a banner, and that phrase means, He who transplanted still sustains. It speaks to how they used to be in England, and now they are here in the United States of America, and that they believed that they would be protected and sustained. Awesome. Now we are going to locate two major places in the state of Connecticut. First is the city of Hartford. Hartford is the capital of Connecticut. Then further south and to the west is the city of Bridgeport. Bridgeport is the largest city in Connecticut. All right, here is our final question. What is the state bird? of Connecticut? That's a good question. What is the state bird of Connecticut? The state bird of Connecticut is the American Robin. The American Robin. Easy to spot because of the orange belly. What a cute birdie. Even though it gets cold in the winter, many American Robins stay in Connecticut throughout the winter. They are tough birds. Tough birds, the American Robin. Thanks for watching this homeschool pop video on the state of Connecticut, the Constitution State, the Nutmeg State. 